And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Good morning. It's your friend Sheep Ludes. I just woke up, so mentally speaking, I'm not all the way there right now. But it's all good. We got the flash forward packs in NBA 2K23, my team. Do you guys remember that whole trend around like 2014 where it's like, I woke up like this, where you just like take a picture of yourself? I, I didn't do this. And I'm not just saying that because I would be embarrassed. Like, I legitimately did not do this. Where someone would just take a picture of themselves and be like, yo, I woke up like this, but they got like a full makeup thing going on and like their hair is all styled. You remember that? I do. Don't think I forget. I'm like a, wait, elephant. Yeah, elephants never forget. I was going to say turtles for some reason. Turtles live like a hundred years, so I have to assume they never forget either. They just don't get the credit like elephants do. Either way, we got the flash forward pack. Woo! I do like the space background. And I do also like the idea of transporting all these guys like into the future I, I enjoy that idea quite a bit actually it's cool so we got bob Cousy, bailey howell no diamonds no amethyst in this set which to be honest i don't enjoy the reason being is it just would have been nice to see more people in the set i would have enjoyed more like 1960s guys like tom Heinsome or like um who else who else could have been in here Rudy Tomanovich is more 70s, but I would have liked to see him or like Kermit Washington. Uh, Rudy LaRusso, the homie from 2K20. Either way, we got Bob Cousy, Bailey Howell, who just looks like he just got back from World War II and has seen some things. The GI Bill's not helping him out, so he's got to play basketball to make a living. Richie Guerin, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing like the shake or the twist or something. JoJo White, who they hoed for no reason. Wayne Embry, who's really good. Powell's an interesting one because I'm not sure what Lucas jump shot on very quick is going to be like. Terry Dissinger, who's great. Kazzy, who's great. Nedelicki, who is God tier. George Mikan, who's good. Dolph Shays, who's good. Every single one of these cards is good. Like, they kind of hoed JoJo White for sure. He might be the most hoed out of the set, but every single one of these cards is good. Uh, for some reason, for 15k VC, you don't get any cards from the set. You get Diamond Wilt, not even Pink Diamond Wilt. Yeah, I don't know. 2% chance for an Opal, 19% chance for a Pink Diamond. Now, that's actually pretty tight. I, I didn't expect that to happen. So I would assume <clears throat> I should pull a Pink Diamond today. <laughs> I should. This should not be a pack opening that I do not pull a Pink Diamond, but I suppose that we will see. If I go 10 packs without a Pink Diamond, I'm going to be upset straight up. Like, I'm going to be mad. It looks like, ha, huh, first pack, look at me. Oh, that's so good. You love to see that. Richie Guerin, come through. No, no, it's Bob Cousy. Shout out to cigarette connoisseur, Bob Cousy. If there's any man that I can confidently say tried majority of cigarettes on offer during their time, it's Bob Cousy, for sure. Look at this man. Also, can we talk about how his card art and his player build look absolutely nothing alike? First off, face doesn't look alike, like at all, okay? <clears throat> Number two, his player build is essentially hairless. Where his card art, this man is the furriest person to ever exist. This man is not a fan of Manscaped.com. But this dude is super hairless, like borderline like 90s pop singer hairless whatever it's fine i guess i would have just liked 2k to drop like a really furry man like if i'm using bob pettit for instance like i want him to have full chest hair i need him to look like a Mad Men side character so far uh we got just bob koozie uh not really looking forward to the rest of this pack okay i was expecting some more pink diamonds i'm not gonna lie it's all good, I suppose, but we'll see. Okay, uh, we're halfway through the 10 box, and we have one singular pink diamond, which is better than normal, I suppose. So it could be worse. We got Kevin Herter. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great, dude. I was about to say, I should have two out of here, right? Okay, two would be on par with the, with the odds, so whatever. Oh my god, did you guys really hoe me and give me two Bob Cousies? No, who is this? Bailey Howell, of course. But, of course, we have Bailey Howell. Look at this man, dude. Is this a holographic Bailey? <laughs> Are you serious? You gave me a hollow Bailey Howell, dude. That is wild. 
Bailey Howell, though, does look good. I'm not going to lie. Got another PD out here. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Bailey Howell looks looks fine, by the way. Like, Koozie looks okay, too. Okay, you're just giving me all, all the white guys. I'm just getting all the white guys, I guess. Okay, so we got Richie Guerin over here. Richie Guerin looks like he's a TikTok starlet from, like, Latvia. It's, oh, God. Okay. I mean, he does have DeMar release on quick, which I'm interested in, for sure. He's really actually solid. I wish his defensive tendencies were better, but so far so good i mean i know i'm not pulling an opal like if there's one thing you know about my pack gods it, it, the top tier cards not coming home dude not happening you know what whatever it's better than i expected i suppose so it could be significantly worse honestly i could have walked out of there with like one singular pd so it, it could have been worse i guess Got a few cards. I mean, we'll go up in some uh, singles. Hopefully, I pull an Opal, which probably won't be the case. And if I do pull one, it'll be Don Ole, who isn't bad by any means. That doesn't mean I want him. Now, all these PDs should be relatively cheap. Um, I could see Wayne Embry and like Cincinnati's Powell being a little bit more expensive, being those are the two that I didn't pull. But they should be buyouts regardless. I don't know. Wayne Embry looks good, though. I definitely am going to pick him up today. <clears throat> Which is funny, because, like, Kemp came out. I should be really excited about Kemp, but... No, I'm not. Oh, I don't have enough to purchase that. Oh, I'm, like, 500 off. You can't let me combine currencies. That's just not nice, dude. Just let me combine currencies. Quit playing. We got Quentin Grimes and Walker Kessler. I have pulled Walker Kessler so much this back opening. Which realistically makes sense, being that it's, like, the white guy all-star squad. Um... What do we got? Antonio Davis and Nick Richards. God, come on, dude. That just hurt. You didn't have to do me like that. I promise. It's nice going into these pack openings with absolutely no expectations or any type of hope that you're going to pull anything worth uh, any type of MT. Because then you're not radically disappointed at the end. You know, you just know off rip that it's not happening for you. And it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, truly. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Who is this? Small Ford Western Conference. I don't even know who this is. Oh, it's Cincinnati Powell. Okay, well, we're trying him out. I mean, he might be on the squad. I'm not entirely sure. It's possible, I suppose. Maybe he's on the squad, maybe not. Who knows? Am I actually going to be able to pull an Opal is the question. I would say hard no, but anything's possible if you believe hard enough, I guess, <laughs> which... I don't think that's accurate, but whatever. All right, so I'm gonna open a few more packs. I'm not gonna go too buck wild on these, on these, because power scaling is broken at this point. I mean, they proved it. Pretty much all the jump shots are on quick. Sigs are completely different. So I would assume that means from this point forward, the sets that we're gonna get are gonna be relatively cracked. So I'm not gonna spend all my MT on these packs realistically plus i'm gonna go buy wayne Embry at some point because he looks really really good so um not even the right white guys honestly they're probably gonna go more for, like than these pink diamonds like they might like legitimately i don't know i don't know the fact that there's no diamonds is wild to me like they couldn't throw a few diamonds in there like a little diamond tom hines them or something i mean yeah that would that wouldn't even dilute the odds i mean i'm pulling majority like current series guys anyway so i guess it really doesn't matter but that's cool who is this probably another guy i don't care about bob koozie yeah shout out to bob koozie this little furry ewok looking man right here no this is jojo white sick all right i didn't have him by the way they hoed jojo white i will give them credit uh this is a very good pack drop and all these cards have been done correctly but for some reason and i'm not sure why they did this jojo white had a ruby earlier this year and he had gold agent three standard on the ruby right okay for some reason not only does the pink diamond not have gold agent three but he can't even have it equipped so i'm just not really sure what's up with that like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me as to why like why would you have the lower tiered version be able to not only have the badge but be able to equip it but then the higher tier version comes he doesn't even have it and can't equip it that doesn't make any sense oh i should have sold mark Dagonalt. whatever like it doesn't i don't know it doesn't make any sense to me 
Okay. Come on, man. It's not like I'm really having a whole lot of hope here that I'm gonna get an opal, but it's just like I am feeling kind of uh, irritated right now. It's okay though. I just want one more pink diamond. Wait, there's no point. Why am I? I have every single pink diamond except Wayne Embry, by the way. He's probably like super expensive uh, because he's the only one I haven't pulled yet, which usually leads me to believe that he's gonna be expensive. That's what happened with Dang yesterday. So be Wayne Embry or I'm going to be upset. And no, that's a white guy. 100%. That's Richie Guerin. <laughs> yeah, there's no way that's not Richie Guerin, dude. I could see the little hair. He looks like Steve Nash's like ancestor. There's no way that wasn't him. Cool. I got two Richie Guerins. Stick with it. Love to see that. That's just a great. This is great. It might actually be better to get the Hoff badge. Last pack magic, perhaps? Probably shouldn't have done that. I chewed through about four to 500k worth of currency so that's good come on man like if you're gonna continue to hoe me no that's richie garen again that's double richie garen's for what reason i'm not entirely sure but we got two richie garen's great <sighs> yeah that's frustrating didn't really want to end on double richie garen's if i'm being honest with evan fournier release on normal yeah he's not very good is he <laughs> he's not <laughs> he's okay he's like aggressively okay all right, well, that was depressing, to be honest. I mean, I got some, uh, I got every pink diamond except for the one that I really wanted in Wayne Embry, of course. So, whatever, I'll go buy him, I guess. He's a buyout, so it's all good. Uh, I just didn't pull him anyway. Every single one of these guys will be cheap. I'll have to try out a lot of these cards uh, to tell you exactly what's up with them. Like, Richie Guerin, I can tell you, will probably be mid. Um, very usable, but very just meh compared to you know the host of shooting guards we already have available at kind of that price point but he'll be relatively cheap bob Cousy will be okay the Jaden daniels Jaden mcdaniels release it's like i don't know i haven't really used that so i'd have to test that out jojo white will be decent um cincinnati's powell very dependent on lucas base on very quick because i have no idea how that's going to translate uh, other than that great defensive tendencies for sure um clamp breaker quick first step anchor yeah he's very good but he also can't get corner specialist, which I just find very annoying for no reason. Because he puts small forward, power forward, so it's just kind of like a middle finger. Uh, cool. Bailey Howell looks good. Not really sure. Oh, off for the rough ones. Look at how low the opals are dropping. If you have Dr. J, Terry Dissinger really isn't a necessity, but he'll still be super expensive. But let's talk about the real expensive ones. Kazzy Russell, for sure will be pricey Gazzy russell will be super pricey he has chris paul dribble style i don't even know what that is well i mean obviously it's chris paul but i mean i guess i what i should say is i haven't even used it um i don't know how that controls is a better way to say that but he also has Lombello balls release on quick yeah he's got a cracked release i mean he's really good these are your sweat lord guards at their fullest bob nedelicki will be a million mt i'm not even kidding Bob Nedelicki will be expensive. Like, he will. He's got the O'Shea Brissett release, which I think a lot of people don't realize is, like, legitimately the best release in the game for, like, a stretch big. But they will soon find that out. Um, it's fast. He's got Michael Jordan dribble style. They do kind of, like, keep the cards in check a little bit, though. Like, Bob Nedelicki's dribble moves are not good. Right? He has, like, the Michael Jordan dribble style with the elite motion style, which is good, right? Right? But then they kind of gave him like a pro step back, like a basic crossover. They did kind of keep him in check a little bit. I will respect that for sure. Uh, then we got George Mikan. George Mikan is going to be the one that I'm the most interested in because he doesn't have meta dribble moves and he's more of a stop and pop like 3 and D big man, which is kind of more what I'm looking for. So I th he's going to be an over 100K though. I don't have dreams of grandeur or delusions of grandeur involving these cards in any way, shape or form. Then we got the homie Young Dolph over here. He's actually more, yeah, he's more meta of a dribbler than Bob Nedelicki. That's kind of crazy. Didn't expect that. Kyle Kuzma on quick, good release. I mean, he's cracked, yeah, because his, his all-time release was easy to green but trash. Yeah, sneakily, like, Dolph Shays might low-key be slightly better than Bob Nedelicki. Nedelicki just might have a better release. And then Donald. Donald will be cheap as well because he literally is improved Derrick Rose, like, quite literally. He's got Derrick Rose on quick, which is it probably a good admittedly a good release and he's got super meta dribble moves i mean hall of fame range well limitless range on hoff 
Challenger, Clamps Glove, Menace. Okay, Don Ole's kind of cracked. Like, he's kind of cracked either way. I don't know. If you want to open these packs, go for it. I mean, the thing is, most of these BDs are going to be dirt cheap. Um, each pack is 15000 and I'd be willing to wager. If you want any of these BDs, you're going to be able to get you know one for under two packs which is probably what it's going to take you to pull these cards anyway so i would just kind of avoid it and if you're hoping to strike gold on the opals two percent is rough like that is rough for odds for fifteen thousand a piece too so maybe i would just kind of like chill out on those maybe don't go so hard on the packs either way you know it is what it is we got our camp agenda hawks blocks oh Score 15 points with flash forward plays five times. Why do they keep doing this to me? Uh, score 20 fast break points with Trey Young. Oh, these are gross. These are gross for a card that's honestly rendered damn near, not useless, but like borderline just not very good based on the cards that we got today. You know, that's kind of whack. Play five multiplayer games win one unlimited game using 10 hogs players oh my god dude yeah i'm not even going for Kemp. i can't believe i did this <laughs> that's whack dude we also got a new uh takeover player in bob pettit shout out to bob pettit dude they kind of hoed bob pettit though like they they dropped this flash forward set where everyone's like cracked out and then they're like yeah let's give bob pettit out too but then let's give him drew eubanks release on normal <laughs> why do they do bob pettit like this and he can't play small forward they just disrespected a legend like that for no reason man they didn't have to do him like that i promise as always it's been your friend cheap loots i will go ahead and see you guys later i hope you have a good pack luck if you decide to open these packs i also hope you have a good day in general peace